Hi there, coming to you from right outside Olympic Park in London. I'm Laura Oakman. Welcome to this Inside Edge presented by City. I'm thrilled to be joined by six-time gold medal winner Amy Van Dyke. And we're talking about swimming, which is why Amy is right. sitting here, because I can't think of better eyes to help me through this. Okay. Wednesday, not big names. We're not having the Michael Phelps. We're not having the Ryan Lochte. Right. Give us some of the up-and-comers, because there's a lot of them in here who we should be keeping our eyes on. Sure, we've got one that's going to be swimming the 200-meter breaststroke, Clark Burkle is his name, so definitely remember that name. You may recognize the name if you're a swimming fan. Burkle, how do I know that name? His sister was an Olympian on the U.S. team back in 2008. So definitely look for him for sure. He's going to do some great things. We've also got um, Scott Welts, who also is a breaststroker, who also is swimming amazing. He's a young guy. He's an up-and-comer. So these are some guys that are going to... I don't know if you can ever fill the shoes of Michael Phelps and Ryan Lochte, but maybe, uh, you know, come in a close second. Okay, so that's what you're looking at. That's what we're going to be looking at. Is it different than what a coach is looking at? Especially now where we're looking at the medal count, I'm assuming they're looking four years from now, two years from now, maybe even not that far down, especially yeah. as so many of our guys, guys and gals are retiring and getting older. Sure. I mean, they're looking from a lot of these uh, different angles. I mean, first of all, they're looking at how they're doing at this meet for this meet. They're also looking at, you know, a youngster like Kathleen Hersey, um, Caitlin Leverance, some names that you haven't heard of, but you, they've kind of been known in the swimming world as up and comers, looking for them to see how are they going to lead this team in the future? Are, do they have leadership abilities? Do they have the ability to handle stress and to handle it well? Because if they do, there's also another little mix that we got to put in there are all the relays. So are they reliable on a relay? Are they your person that, you know, when it's like in 2008, you know, when you had uh, Lezak, are these people going to be a Lezak and be able to do amazing things that they didn't think that they could ever do? So they're looking at that, also looking at, hey, you know, you may be swimming the 200 IM right now. I think you're a breaststroker. Let's start working on that because I think you can make the team in the breaststroke as well. So a lot of different things going on at these games, which is really fun. Love that. Love that. Thank you for the inside look, what we should look at. And thank you for looking at this. That's going to do it for this Inside Edge presented by City. For Amy, I'm Laura. We'll see you next time.